scientists finally break their silence on whether Italy's most dangerous giant could collapse into the sea. Catania, Sicily. The question has lingered for years, like volcanic ash drifting above the Ionian coast. Is Mount Etna Europe's most restless volcano slowly sliding toward the sea, preparing for a catastrophic collapse? For months, speculation has grown louder. Earthquakes have rattled Sicily's eastern shore. New cracks have appeared on the volcano's flank. Drone surveys have revealed patches of terrain shifting in unsettling patterns. On social media, rumors spread faster than lava. Etna is breaking apart. Etna is slipping. Etna will fall into the sea. Now, after years of tight-lipped caution, science has finally spoken, and the truth is more dramatic than anyone expected. the mountain that never sleeps. At dawn, clouds swirl around Etna like smoke rising from an ancient furnace. Beneath the mountain, magma churns in chambers carved out by thousands of eruptions over half a million years. Steam vents hiss. The ground trembles in pulses too faint for humans to feel. Villages cling to the slopes like small islands in a rising tide of geological activity. Etna erupts so often that Sicilians sometimes call it Mama Etna, a fiery mother who gives fertile soil, yet constantly reminds her children that she is alive. But now scientists say something deeper and far more dangerous is happening within its bones. Etna is not only erupting. Etna is moving. Discovery under the waves. For decades, geologists believed Etna's trembling slopes were mainly caused by magma pressure and eruptive cycles. But the mystery of the sliding flank the volcano's entire southeastern side inching toward the Ionian Sea couldn't be explained by magma alone. So a multinational research team decided to look not on the mountain, but beneath the sea. Using underwater transponders anchored to the seabed hundreds of meters offshore, they monitored the position of Etna's submerged flank with millimeter precision. These instruments sat in the dark for years, listening to the slow, groaning movements of the submarine slope. Then the data came in and the ground truth was undeniable. Mount Etna is sliding toward the sea under its own weight. The volcano, made of layers of ash, lava, and loose sediments, rests on a sloping, weak foundation. Gravity is pulling the mountain downslope, not in smooth, gentle drift, but in sudden lurching episodes. One dramatic shift recorded a few years ago showed four centimeters of movement in just eight days. To geologists, that was the equivalent of a giant turning in its sleep. Collapse would mean. When the research became public, the scientific community froze because if Etna's flank continues to destabilize, the ultimate scenario is haunting. A massive sector of the volcano could detach and crash into the Ionian Sea. Such an event would be catastrophic. Volumes of rock larger than entire cities would plunge into deep water. The displacement could send a tsunami racing across the Mediterranean, an echo of a prehistoric collapse thousands of years ago that left records of massive waves along ancient coasts. Cities like Catania, Augusta, Syracusa, and even coastal nations across the sea could feel the impact. but scientists are careful, very careful to separate fear from fact. Yes, a collapse is possible. Yes, it has happened in Etna's ancient past. Yes, 
the flank is sliding. But no, the collapse is not imminent. The sliding is slow, roughly 14 millimeters per year, and there is no evidence that failure is approaching soon. Still, the movement is real, and the long-term risk cannot be ignored. The volcano's internal struggle. In recent months, Etna has erupted repeatedly, sending lava fountains into the night sky and ash plumes drifting over Sicily's airports. Some fear these eruptions could accelerate the slide. Scientists say the picture is more complex. Deep beneath Etna, magma chambers expand and contract like beating hearts. Pressure pulses upward, cracking rock and pushing fissures open. These internal forces can alter stress on the sliding flank, sometimes speeding it up, other times slowing it. But the true driver, researchers now conclude, is not magma, but gravity. Etna is simply too big for its foundation. Its weight is pulling it seaward. Its base is too weak to stop it. Its movement is a slow battle between rock, gravity, and time. As one geophysicist said in a recent statement, Etna is not just erupting, Etna is migrating. Science speaks out. So what is the official conclusion of the scientific community? After years of satellite monitoring, submarine sensors, GPS data, drone imaging, and seismic analysis, researchers have finally delivered their verdict. Mount Etna is sliding toward the sea due to gravity acting on its unstable flank. A future collapse is geologically possible, but not currently imminent. Constant monitoring is essential because the volcano's behavior can change rapidly. In other words, Etna is not falling today, but Etna is moving. And because it is moving, the world has to watch. The threat is neither dismissed nor exaggerated. It is approached with scientific precision, steady attention, and respect for one of the most unpredictable volcanoes on Earth.